Hey, hey guys, how's it going? I hope all of you are doing great today. Check it out guys, we are swimming around our base on our survival single player Let's Play series, watching some golems, golems? Golems fall to their death, that's right. <laughs> oh man, I like this farm, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, at the beginning of the episode, you saw we did some resource gathering. I hope you liked that little time lapse. We collected a whole bunch of quartz. We collected, I think it was nine stacks, just over nine stacks of quartz ore. We broke that down and check it out, guys. We have just over 18, 19, almost 20 stacks of quart nether quartz, which is amazing, guys. We used fortune to break it down, so we pretty much got, yeah, j just over two, um, two nether quartz per nether quartz ore, which is amazing, guys. Now, you're probably wondering, Archie, why the hell did we go to the nether to do that? Because, guys, we need to decorate this thing. That's right. This wooden monstrosity, it's not looking good. It's not at all. Yeah. So what I thought, you know, since we are getting towards the, I don't want to call it the more advanced stage of Minecraft, but we are definitely getting the materials. We are having a lot of fun. And I want to make this thing look rich. That's right. This thing is supposed to spew out iron. It's supposed to look rich. So what I want to do, first of all, is replace the wood with quartz. That's right. And the next thing that I also want to do is pretty much build a funnel around this thing because like I said in the previous episode, I think this area is a bit too big. So what I want to do is funnel them into a small, I think three by three or yeah, three by three hole should be enough so that they have a much smaller killing chamber. And I think that's just going to look a lot better. Yeah. So that is the plan guys. And as always, we're going to make a time lapse out of it and yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So guys, I hope you're ready. And if you're not, you know what to do. Grab your popcorn and grab your favorite designated beverage. Get out there, Squiddy, otherwise you're gonna die. <laughs> and I guess, let's get this time lapse started. And we're back guys now don't worry this is definitely not the final design I'm I'm not too happy with it it definitely needs some more detail and just rounding off the edges perhaps here just throwing in some you know some lights maybe also some stairs but yeah it's it's the general shape guys I honestly I, I want to take a break off of it right now because I can't really think too much of what I want to do with it so yeah I, I want to move on to something else but this that's what we did we worked with smooth stone quartz or smooth quartz exactly and yeah it, it was pretty hard to get that stuff <laughs> I didn't I, I didn't replace the let's zoom in a bit here I didn't replace the trap doors here or the block right over here just yet because I was a little scared that the villagers would fly out or that the zombie would you know have a problem but I kind of want to replace this with an iron one perhaps but we'll see I'll, I'll try and do that in the future also what's also bugging me a little bit here right now is the trap doors right here which don't look that great so you know what guys I'll, I'll have a think about this what I want to do with it but I want to move on to something else and that is the killing chamber down here now what I've been doing is I've been experimenting a bit on how much space we actually need and I first of all tried a 5x5 five five hole something along the lines of this so that the uh, just to check that the iron golems actually have enough space to fall down into once they drop off from the iron farm at the top now they do have enough space the only issue is sometimes maybe we can see it here these guys fall a little bit too much at the same time so one guy like pushes the other guy to the side and then he's stuck here so that's a little unfortunate so we need to have a seven by seven hole down here which i mean i guess it's all right we we can live with that but i kind of wanted to get it a little smaller but 
Yeah, let's let's talk about what I actually want to do with this thing. So I mentioned at the beginning of the episode that I want to build some sort of sinkhole here. And I think that would be a pretty cool idea. I want to lower the terrain all around this area and bring this whole thing down a lot further. So that you don't really see all of the signs here just at the top because I think it's, it's kind of an eyesore. And the idea that I had, which I think is going to be pretty sweet, guys, and... Yeah, I hope you'll like it as well. What I want to do is pretty much bring this lava blade down all the way down where the hoppers are, pretty much. And right above the lava blade, I want to place our signs for the water. So that this whole thing is pretty much going to be filled up with water. And yeah, I think it'll be pretty cool because then you'll actually see the golem slowly slide down, or not slide, sink down to the lava blade, which will be like pretty much on the floor here. So yeah, I, th I think it'll be pretty cool that you'll see them. That's the plan, what I want to do. And then of course, you know, make this thing look a lot more organic, decorate it, look, make it look nice. You, you know the drill, guys. Give it, give it the Archie touch. I hope I didn't break some glass. No, I didn't. That's good. <laughs> oh yeah, and check it out, guys. We have a butt ton of iron. This is amazing. This is all of the iron that we collected just while I was up there building. So around, I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and 10 minutes, something like that. We already have what, um, it's just amazing. We, we have two, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 stacks of iron. We're, we're gonna need a huge storage system in here. It's amazing. I'm, I'm pretty much speechless. Imagine if we put another one up there. Anyways, guys, <laughs> I'm rambling and you know what time it is? It's time lapse time. That's right. Let's build this thing. I'm stoked and I hope you are as well. So grab your popcorn and favorite beverage as always. And I guess let's get this time lapse started. Right guys, check it out. We got a cave, that's right. And it's looking good. It's a great start guys. This is by far not the final version. There's still a lot of work to be done. You know, of course, adding the stairs and slabs just to make this place look good. I've also been playing around with the idea to perhaps also bring in some concrete here to, you know, to bring in some color, like re per perhaps replace this whole thing with, I don't know, like an orange or a white or something like that, just to make the area look a little nicer. I mean, you can do the same as well over here. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll play around with that, but check it out, guys. This is the killing chamber. It's a lot bigger than in episode one, but it's looking super sweet. I also really like the lava right there. So yeah, the idea is, that, well, first off, I think there are around 100 iron golems right on the top of us right there, which is really cool. If we remove all of the cobblestone that we can see up there, water is going to rush down 
all the way here, get stopped by the signs, but the iron golems will slowly sink through and then get killed by the lava. Let's have a look down there how the killing chamber looks like. And this is pretty much what it is down here. Yeah, it's just a whole bunch of hoppers which lead into a chest. And yeah, let's, let's clean this chest out and see how many iron we can collect. So what I've done is Let's go up right here and show you guys. It's gonna get a little loud. We have a little, a little, I don't know, a little balcony up here to actually remove all of this stuff. And check it out, guys. It's loud. And there's a lot of iron golems up there, but you know what, guys? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record this in the replay mod. Of course, guys, it's gonna look a lot more epic if I do that. So have fun watching that, and I'll catch you once we're back. Guys, you should see the smile I have on my face. This is just... I like this. <laughs> we can actually swim down here, almost get killed by the lava. I mean, it, we pretty much fall through, but this is just great. We can swim with the iron golems, and it's just a really cool place. I like this. I really, really like this area. Now, I think the next steps what we're going to do is definitely expand this area you know we got to make this a little bigger i'm i'm not too sure how how far we can actually go down here but yeah the idea is to actually extend this a little further outwards so that it looks a little bit more organic so it actually looks like a hole going down that's the plan what i still want to do and yeah then then we'll see what happens i mean we definitely need a storage system to yeah to put all of our items in but that's going to be the plan. However, guys, let's quickly go down here and let's show you how much loot we actually got from all of those iron golems. Guys, we have a lot. <laughs> we have a lot of iron. That was just from all of the iron golems which were stuck at the top of the, of the cobblestone walls that we built while we were, you know, while we were building this whole thing. And then, of course, you know, we have this thing. And, of course, we have another six stacks somewhere around in here. That's right. Guys, we're swimming in iron. It's amazing. We need a lot of beacons because we're going to build a whole bunch of beacons. But check this out, guys. I like it. I really, <laughs> I say it again and again, but it's just amazing just seeing the iron golems fall down to their deaths nice and slowly. Yeah, this makes me happy. <laughs> However, guys... Enough talking, it's more building time, and I'm having a lot of fun building, so we're gonna make another time lapse. That's right. I hope you're excited, cuz let's get this other, another time lapse started. That's right, guys.
There we go, guys. The Iron Golem Killing Chamber is complete. And it's looking super sweet, if I can say so myself. Oh man. Hello, Creeper. How's it going? <laughs> uh, I really just like swimming around here and just having a look around and also just seeing the inside of the cave. It's, it just looks really sweet. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, guys, that's what we did. I, th I said at the beginning that we were kind of going to make a sinkhole. It, it turned out in, it turned into a crater instead. The main reason being that w once I actually removed a bit more of the stone around the area, unfortunately the iron golems were getting stuck at the sides and not falling, not falling all the way down. Which was a little unfortunate, but you know what guys, we improvised and instead of a sinkhole, we, we, we built a crater. And I think it still fits really well into the theme. I mean, have a look at that. That's just nice. We work with the uh, smooth stone, uh, sandstone slabs and stairs just to give it that sand feel. And I like this. I mean, just imagine when we blend this thing in a lot more into the environment. It's just going to look epic. We also worked a bit on the inside here. I decorated the, the sides of the wall here with prismarine to light it up. And also just to continue the, the Atlantis or sunken city theme that we also have in our sword system. And I really like this. This kind of makes it, makes it feel like some ancient civilization actually built this area just to kill the iron golems. And yeah, I like how it turned out. It's really nice, lights up the area, and it's looking super sweet. However, before we go, let's quickly drop down here. So now, now there was a creeper, let's quickly kill that guy. How about I show you guys how much iron we actually collected. Now, I actually did some AFKing here, and we collected around two stacks for in 12 minutes. So when you do the math, that is around, uh, what is it, 10 stacks every hour, which is insane, guys. The rates on this farm, two, 10 stacks of iron ingots every hour. And from building this whole thing and, you know, just working here, guys, we have a double chest full of iron, which is amazing. We're going to really have to put this stuff in, uh, to work. That's around, what, three, six... Nine, so that's around six iron, uh, iron stacks of iron blocks. There we go. Six stacks of iron blocks that we have right now, which are gonna go, you know, to hoppers, to beacons, all of that kind of stuff, and it's gonna look super sweet. Yeah, I like this. I really like how it turned out. I think in the next episode we're gonna focus on the storage system and also the cave in here, but. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited. I really am excited for this. However, guys, I think that's gonna be it for me. I hope you liked the episode. It was a lot of building this episode. And if you did, you know what to do. Make sure to smash that like button. And as always, if you're not subscribed, guys, make sure to subscribe because there's a lot more coming. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. However, guys, relax. Yeah, <laughs> I just butchered that. Let, hang on. That's gonna be it from me, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode. That's right. Have a good one, and I will see you later.